I'm Alex and this is Justin and we've taken time out of our working lives in Sydney to travel to some of Australia's most remote and beautiful places in our modified four-wheel drive and we're filming our adventure along the way. Hi guys welcome back to the channel for those that are new here I'm Alex um, and my partner behind the camera is Justin um, and we've recently spent the last year traveling around Australia with our British company awning and rooftop tent um, and we did that trip with a max tent and a 270 awning which we have done a review of and we'll leave some links above um, but if you've watched any of our previous videos you will know that we did have some cracking issues on our bush company max tent um, where the awning mounts we had it cracked twice on the trip um, and we got a third tent sent out to us in perth um, and it was mounted differently so we thought that was all going to be good but unfortunately it has cracked again so we chatted with Bush Company who have been great th throughout this process and we have both agreed that there's no point putting another tent that keeps cracking on our car again so they have upgraded us to their new um, Bush Company Alpha tent so the aim of today's video is to do kind of a, a compare and contrast between our Black Series Max tent and the new Bush Company Alpha tent. As I said, we have already done a review on the Max Series tent and there's loads of reviews already out on the Alpha. So our aim is to try and be a little bit different here and do kind of a, a, a direct comparison between the two. So I hope you enjoy it. I do have my notepad here to make sure that I don't forget anything that I said I was going to say. One key thing is, is we're not sponsored in any way. We pulled, we pulled, we paid a recommended retail price for the original Max and awning and everything else has been, has since been done under warranty by the Bush Company. So absolutely no paid sponsorship whatsoever. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of, I'll go through each different sections and then compare and contrast. The first thing about the Alpha is the frame. So this is the main reason that we upgraded from the Max to the Alpha is they have a much st stronger frame, which has got ext extrusions made out of alloy. Um, so because it's a much st stronger frame, it should not crack. It also means that the awning mounts directly into the extrusions and not actually having to be drilled and bolted into the tent itself, um, which is absolutely amazing. It also means that if you want any other accessories like um, light bars or um, shovel bracket mounts, you can mount them onto your tent. So it's a, it's a stronger and much more agile product in terms of what you want to do with it. So it's definitely a big tick for the Alpha versus the Max. Um, it's also got much better buckles. I'm going to open this door so you can see further. So it's got much stronger buckles compared to what we had on the Max. On the Max, we actually had to put some carabies through the um, latches to ensure that it didn't pop up on the road. So a definite upgrade there on the buckles. Moving around the ladder and how you get in. So the ladder is still a telescopic ladder. All that's changed is how it's mounted and the, the actual mounting on the tent. So because of the extrusions, this new tent mounting bracket can actually be moved so you can be much more flexible on where you want it to be. Obviously it needs to be near the windows so you can get in the tent, but it can be moved, which is awesome. Then the ladder itself has now got this L-shaped mounting bracket instead of just being a hole and then it had kind of a, a bit of metal which came out which you moved so you essentially line that up and slide it down so we find that much easier than the old mounting system it does mean it moves a little bit but we've had no issues with that so that is the ladder and that's the only difference there um, moving around I'll talk about the opening of the actual tent So the Max is a traditional clamshell tent. It just opens one way. It's got the same gas struts, etc. as the other tent, so I just push and leave it. And 
it does have elastic that goes around it but we've done the same on both tents and found it's not that useful so we don't really use it um, however the max is a much more versatile tent it's essentially a clamshell tent that also lifts up completely full which means that you have windows on all four sides and um, it can be half down or, or completely up and you've got much more headroom in there so that's the key difference here we did go for the alpha over the updated black series model because it is 1.8 meters tall so you d it is much higher on the angle of the clamshell so it does have more headroom than the traditional black series max and therefore sorry the traditional black series and therefore the max when it's only half down um, otherwise it's pretty similar there in terms of the fly so it's the same where they have these um te not telescopic these um what would i call these justin spring steel the spring steel poles the only issue that we found with the alpha it's kind of a bit of an issue is if I put this in here, like you meant to, and then try and attach it to my fly, whew, I'm far too short. So I just physically can't, I'm not long enough to do it. Which was a little bit of a worry when we first got our tent and not something that we noticed when it was on the kind of low down box in store. So we have to do it by putting it in the canvas first and then bending it into there st st still works relatively fine but you do have to scratch or it, it, it's not as good with the metal down here and taking it off can be quite terrifying you don't really have that anchor point to go on so definitely a, a point where i'd say the max wins because i just can't reach it i'm too short tall people you'll be fine but it's just something to bear in mind how tall are you? Uh, I'm five foot six. Justin's five ten. He still can't reach. Are you five ten? Close enough. Um, so yeah, the fly is also obviously much bigger um, because it's uh, the tent is significantly taller. So the, we were worried about it flapping around. It does have two tie down points which you can strap into the actual um, clips itself, which gives it enough tension. We haven't had an issue in the wind so far, but we've only had uh, and been in the tent for about 10 days. Um, so we'll give you an update later on and if we found that to be an issue. Um, the final thing, not the final thing, the final thing before I jump in that's different is the canvas. So the Alpha is a dual layer canvas instead of a single layer canvas, which means that there's an air gap in between, so it should be much better for condensation and also heavy rain. Um, however, there is a canvas basically on the inside as there was before. There's also a canvas on the outside but we have that was the first time we've unclipped that outside canvas and we do find on the door where we get in on the side it can just be a bit annoying having that extra canvas um, in, on the zip kind of area which I'll show you it in more detail when I climb in it also means there's less space when I pack up the tent because there's more canvas to go inside the tent essentially um, so I think it would would be great in the colder and wetter climates the condensation and temperature but probably not necessary if you're going to be up the top end and don't need two layers of canvas that's probably the key thing to say there but i will jump in and we'll show you the inside and by the magic of filming i'm now in the tent so inside the tent is pretty similar to the black series max when it's half down the difference is, is because it's actually 1.8 meters tall I can literally stand all the way up if I want to. Actually, can I stand all the way up? Yeah, I can stand basically all the way up um, without having to have it up. Um, there's also a much higher gap at the bottom, so you can sleep with your head at this end no problem.
problem and that is how we like to sleep and we did that even in the max when it was down just because we get in at the feet end and we didn't really kind of want to get in where our heads were if that makes any sense um so key differences as i said there's the two layers of canvas if you had them both down i think it would be much darker which would be awesome um this one's got extra pockets and um, so they 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 both come with these velcro on pockets um but the alpha comes with two sets we haven't even opened the the top set i don't really see the need for all those pockets but if you have loads of things they could be useful and um, the other awesome thing about the alpha is it comes with dual power on both sides so each side has got a sig socket and a dual um usb plug already wired in so there's just an anderson plug under the tent which you need to plug in and then you've got power which is awesome in the old tent it just came with an anderson plug um, on the inside as well and then justin had to wire up any additional power that we wanted in the tent comes with the standard bush company pockets at the side but, but there's now two because there's more space and also comes with a water bottle holder at, e at each end which we actually do use and do love um the mattress is up um apparently updated it's apparently now kind of a dual type mattress with a a harder bottom and a softer on the top we've not really noticed the difference we find them both comfortable we still have um, a very thin mattress topper which we had in the old tent on here the duvet and full pillows and it still shuts although i probably would only recommend two pillows it's a little bit tight with four pillows in here now with all the extra canvas the other thing to note is due to the extrusions there's now um kind of areas in the tent so before the mattress had a gap all the way around to allow for air and condensation but we found that that meant that the mattress could move um, as we drove so we ended up putting kind of pipe around the edges to stop that from happening with the new model there's naturally ex um, extrusion points so the tent can't actually move all the way under that side or all the way t to the left or right which is awesome just gonna check my list um we do as i said sleep at this end and one thing we've noticed as well is it looks really good because it's completely black because it, there's now a black roof the the actual roof on the inside gets really hot before it was a silver lined roof um, and i definitely noticed the difference between the back the black roof and the silver roof in terms of the heat that comes through the top so that's just something to bear in mind um the final thing really in here is the light um so they both come with a light the um max came with a light that was orange and white and it had a switch on each side and we basically always use the orange light um this one still has a white and orange light it's also got red but unfortunately you have to flick through them to go for each light that you want which is a little bit of um annoying and although it's got a red light which is good we still haven't used it it feels a bit like a brothel in here if we put the red light on so i think we would rather have the option where you've got a switch on, on either side and you can just press them for orange or for white and not have to cycle through the three settings it's also as you might have noticed i really have to like get up to turn it on because it is such a high tent if and we're lying down here it's quite an effort to turn the light on or off i would recommend having a switch somewhere um which should make that a little bit easier but it's still installed and still great so i think i'm just going to check my list i think that's basically everything that i really wanted to talk to um overall they're both amazing tents we wouldn't have up upgraded our max if it hadn't cracked again we were perfectly happy with it um one thing was that was a bit annoying is when it was completely lifted up there's a few small holes in the top corners where the canvas wasn't quite adjoined which i won't have on the alpha but otherwise we loved it so to conclude which tent should you buy and unfortunately i'm going to have a bit of a cop out there and say it really depends what you're using it for if we could get the black series max with the new frame and the power in it we would probably go for that any day just because of the versatility of being able to have it all the way up and windows on all four sides which meant that when we were at the top end it was a it was a godsend i feel like the traditional clamshell tent would be quite hot up 
top. Um, but I'm just going to quickly run down our key points and say which one I think wins on each to kind of help with that conclusion. So the frame, Alpha 100% wins. It's stronger and you can add more things and accessories to it. Opening, for me the Max wins that it opens in two ways. So I either a clamshell or fully up and therefore having the four windows and the light and the breeze. Um, but the Alpha is taller, it has big windows, so, so therefore it is better than the traditional clamshells on the market and it is still quite big, but I give that a max as a win on that point. Um, the ladder, they're basically the same, but I would say that the new ladder is a bit quicker to set up and therefore I would go for the Alpha. Canvas, single versus double, it depends where you're using it. Um, I find that it's, it's heavier because there's a dual layer of canvas um, and the extra canvas can get in the way. Um, but if you're going to be doing, going somewhere cold or those kind of, it's real wet and condensation -y, I think it would definitely help. If you're purely at the top end, I don't think you would need it. Um, power, this one comes with upgraded power. It's definitely the alpha winds. The light, for me, it's too high and I do not like having to cycle through. So the max winds on the light. The fly, and so I'm doing this in, the, in a weird order. The fly, it has to be this size because the tent is so high, but because I can't easily put the um, poles in, max winds hand down. It's just so much harder for me to set up because I'm not tall enough. Extra pockets, we absolutely love the water bottle holders and having two by the head. I'm not sure I need as many pockets on the top, take it or leave it, they're both basically the same but I'm going to go with the alpha because of the water bottle holders as being slightly better there. New mattress, I would say yes, that's definitely better. Um, and the pack up is basically the same. Because there is more canvas, we st still find that around this pocket area, when you close it down, it does um, puff out a bit, but because you can actually attach, and I'll show you in a minute, um, the pull down strap has got hooks it does allow you to half pull it down and push those in so if you're on your own it you can still pack it up so overall i think as i said before the alpha is clearly an upgrade and if you could put those upgrades on the max that would be your winner um if you're doing the big lap the fact that the max is versatile would be a, a big win for us if it's just a weekend tent go with the alpha but I hope that's helped. If you have any other questions, let us know. We, we might do a more detailed review on the Alpha tent after we've had it for a little bit longer. And if that's something that you would like, let us know. Um, but overall, the Bush Company have been amazing. They have some amazing products and they're awesome guys. Um, and I say that when I'm not getting any sponsorship or any advantage whatsoever. Um, they have been awesome to us over the last year. Um, and they will be able to answer m any of the questions that you may have have um but yeah thanks for watching another video and if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe Last but not least, a very quick bonus hack if you have this tent. I will let my lovely assistant Justin, who invented this hack, show you how it works. So what we've done, Doc, we've got a 23-0 shoe bag. Any shoe bag will really do. And it was off our old King setup and we just kept it because I don't like to throw things out. Put some little washers in it to make it a bit bigger. Up in this panel. Feed them in there. Uh, can sit there and have a shoe bag because we've never these tents have no shoe storage and that's actually kept it dry when it rains and look what have we got in here is it a giveaway no we don't do that on our channel sorry <laughs> you're such an idiot